As mayor, how would you help develop the self-care district of Sheboygan? Thank you. Uh, unlike my opponents, the sky is not falling. So it's not. Let's talk about self-care a little bit. We've had several new businesses that sprung up on self-care, built by the Mueller family. We've got Lino's Restaurant. We've got the building put up by the Altmeyers with Anglers Avenue in it. We're going to put another uh, uh, a new pub next door that they're working on as we speak. We've got the Restoration Gardens building. We have the miniature golf course. This has all happened in spite of a bad economy. The Pentair building, I think uh, I can tell my opponent Randy is not uh, very well schooled in taxes because the Pentair building was taken down after the state took the value of commercial properties from the building value down to the land value. The actual drop in taxes and tax base by taking down the Pentair building was negligible. They're paying the same tax rate but we don't have a big building sitting on prime property. Let's talk a little bit about a casino and, and, and uh, where things may be, hypothetically. First of all, the RDA, which Roberta is the chairman of, um, changed the rules uh, over a year ago to allow, to allow all landlord or all property owners on South Pier, all building owners, to buy their land. To sell land to somebody is not a new thing. This was started when I was on the RDAs at Albany that we figured out this formula. To sell land to an entity such as the folks at Blue Harbor who have invested in our community, there's nothing shady about it. There's nothing shady about this deal. Let's talk about a casino, a casino and the potential of it, if there was to be one. Number one, it would go up for a binding public referendum countywide. That's the rules. So every, every citizen gets a vote. Let's talk of the benefits if it did happen. If it was the size of an Oneida casino, we would be talking about a 150,000 square foot building, an investment of 120 to 150 million dollars. We would be looking at a parking structure of 2,500 vehicles. We would be looking at, to the bottom line of the city, somewhere between three and four million dollars a year, or an increase of 10 to 15 percent of our budget right now, which could actually go to improving our infrastructure in the city, to repaving our streets, to refurbishing our parks, and to lowering our taxes. Not to mention, the businesses that can spin off of this. We need a critical mass of people in downtown Sheboygan. A critical mass. And this is something I have backed and always. Uh, thank you, Mayor. 